Welcome. In this class, we're going to be studying about inclined planes and with constant force and acceleration mo models. So with the inclined plane, we have a degrees here. We have a mass with a pulley. And as this pulls down, it's going to move the other mass. The things to note with inclined planes that is that the tension, we call this T, the tension in the rope is constant, okay? So that means if the tension is constant, therefore the acceleration is going to be constant too. If I if this moves down the distance, this will move at the same speed, at the same rate. Okay. So this notes that the tensions are equal, and then the accelerations will be equal. This is to uh, help you when you're solving for these kind of things. So this object is already accelerating, and the question says, determine, determine the acceleration of the system. And we're given two masses. We're also given mu, so there's some friction. Again, the success criteria, make sure that you draw your, you need to draw your um, diagram. You need to have FBD. Uh, from your FBD, you get your equations, you sub, you solve, and then you have a sentence. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing in this class. It's solved for the acceleration for this. The very first thing that you're going to do, step one, you have your FBDs. So my FBDs, in this case, I'm going to label this. This is going to be M1. This is going to be M2. We're also going to show the direction. This is going to be positive. Down is going to be negative. And to make it simpler, this is going to be um, negative, and then down is going to be positive. Because we can think of this as one system, because if this is positive and this is negative tension, they're actually going to cancel each other out. So we're actually not worried about the tension in the stream because it's going to be constant. They're equal. And we can use that to find that. So. If I were to show that for mass one, the FBD diagram would look something like this. Also note that there is gravity. So the force of gravity is gonna be pulling this down. So I'm going to be having my box, but the force of gravity pulls straight down. We need to find the force of gravity in the y direction and the force of gravity in the x direction. And recall that the force of gravity in the y direction is the force of gravity cosine theta and the x direction is force of gravity sine theta. Because you're going to use that to determine your frictional force pulling down. So what we can do for mass one, we're actually the forces acting on it are force of friction pulling it down. We also have a other force. We have the force of gravity in the x direction. Also, it's stopping the box from going uh, up, up. It's going to be some resistance, and then we have a force to the right, and that's tension. Tension is your force applied. For the second mass, we're going to be having negative tension, and then this is the force of gravity. And we have different masses, so this is actually the second mass, so I'm going to put M2. So to determine the equation in the x direction, F net is going to be force of gravity in the x direction, this is going to be negative, minus the force of friction plus tension. The F net in this, direct, uh, in this one is going to be equal to the force of gravity of mass 2 um, minus the tension. And these tensions are the same. Um, we can expand our equation a little bit more. This F net, since these two tensions are actually going to kill, we can actually combine this system into one 
one diagram where this is the total M1, M2. So a combined model will just be the force of friction, force of gravity of mass one in the X direction, and then we have this the force of gravity of mass two. Because the tensions are actually going to kill when you substitute them, it just makes your equation a little bit easier. So therefore, F net total is just going to be FF minus FF minus the force of gravity in the X direction plus the force of gravity of M2 that's pulling it. So this is actually becomes our, our equation. The total system of this would be M2, M1 acceleration. Force of friction is mu minus mu k times the normal force. The normal force is, okay. The normal force is going to be the same as the force of gravity in the y direction. So that's going to be, instead of saying Fn, we can just say it's going to be the force of gravity in the y direction minus the force of gravity in the x direction plus the force of gravity of this guy, of mass 2. Okay, we can expand this a, a little bit more. So it's going to be M2, M1, A minus mu K. Force of gravity in Y direction is going to be force of gravity cosine theta minus the force of gravity in the X direction is FG sine theta. And then we have the force of gravity of, my, uh, of that. It's going to be the force of gravity on mass 2. Okay, so we have pretty much everything. We're trying to find A, so I'm going to divide this by M2, M1. Divide all this by M2, M1. Therefore, the acceleration of this system, of this total system here, is going to be minus mu k force of gravity cosine theta minus the force of gravity sine theta plus the force of gravity on M2. These are force gravities on M1. Okay, this is M1. And then divide by the total mass is M2 times M1. All you have to do now is substitute all the values in. We know our mu. Our mu is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times the force of gravity on this object, which is going to be times um, 3 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram times cosine, 30 degrees is the, the ramp angle. I'll put some ramp. Minus put some brackets in here, the force of gravity, so that'd be 3 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, sine 30 degrees. Then you're going to plus force of gravity of M2, so that's 3 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Okay. Now all that divided by the total mass is 3 plus 3, we get oh, it's M2 times M1, so it's uh, 9 kilograms. And you put that into your calculator and that will be the acceleration of your system. For example, whatever your answer is. And it's going to be in meters per second squared. And then you just put a therefore statement. Therefore, both boxes will accelerate at... Make sure you put the units. So that's how to solve for...
hanging masses. The key thing to remember is the tensions are the same, accelerations are the same. You can you can use two FBD diagrams to combine your model. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.